Welcome to the Internal Medicine Program at the Cleveland Clinic, Florida. I am Darby Sider, Program Director, and I'm here with Kristen Hager, one of our Associate Program Directors. We're honored to have you join us to learn more about our fabulous residency program. The Cleveland Clinic is a nonprofit organization with facilities in Northeast Ohio, Central and Southeast Florida, Las Vegas, Nevada, Toronto, Canada, London, and Abu Dhabi. Our program started in 1996 when it was located at a beachside hospital in Fort Lauderdale. Our Emeritus Program Director, Dr. Jose Muniz, led the program's move to a brand new hospital in Weston in 2001. New additions to the hospital have been a regular occurrence since then. Growth in our regional reputation has led to growth in our hospital footprint. We have a total of 258 beds, which includes a 24-bed observation unit, a 24-bed MICU, and a 24-bed SICU. All rotations are done here in Weston unless one chooses to go elsewhere for an outside elective. Our general internal medicine staff includes 18 primary care physicians and 18 hospitalists, many of whom did their internal medicine residency training here. All of our staff are employed physicians with no outside practices to take us away from providing education to you. Despite being a relatively small community hospital, we've been recognized both regionally and nationally by US News and World Report for our outstanding care. On the most recent ranking, we have been ranked number two in the South Florida region. Our gastroenterology department is ranked 39th in the entire country. And we've been recognized as the top 10% in the country in the divisions of geriatrics, neurology, and pulmonary medicine. Newsweek has also recognized our outstanding performance. As you can see, we have staff in all the medicine specialties. We are currently performing liver, kidney, and heart transplants at our facility. We have 31 residents as part of our internal medicine residency program. This includes nine categoricals per year and four preliminary interns. Anesthesia interns each spend five months doing medicine rotations with us. Our small size and personal attention foster an impressive camaraderie amongst the residents, faculty, and staff. Despite our relatively small size, we do have numerous fellowship programs. Fortunately, the fellowships are not so large as to take away opportunities from our residents. We have an excellent working relationship with all of the fellowship programs, which regularly match our residents into their programs, as well as assist us with research projects and teaching. We have numerous other ACGME accredited programs, as well as multiple other non-ACGME fellowships. I share this information to demonstrate, again, that we are not your typical community internal medicine program that stands alone as they often do at many community hospitals. A pillar of the Cleveland Clinic's mission is to educate those who serve. We have many learners here, and we truly value the opportunity to teach. We are also affiliated with numerous medical schools, including locally Florida Atlantic University in Boca Raton and Florida International University in Miami, and internationally Ross University and St. George's University. In addition, students from many other allopathic and osteopathic medical schools do elective rotations with us. Our residents play a very key role in educating the students both clinically and in the classroom. Choosing a residency is a major life decision. Internship and residency is stressful, and there are factors which could help mitigate any additional stress. We appreciate how much more difficult your decision will be having to go through this process virtually. We'd like to share a few pearls in helping you make your decision. First, you should think about what kind of internal medicine program will provide you with the best opportunities for your future goals. Are you the kind of person who performs best amongst large numbers, under the radar, not seeking individual attention? Or do you desire to be a large fish in a small sea, have faculty know your name and welcome you into their office at any time with their open door policy, 
and receive personal attention? If it's the latter, we fit the bill. If you're looking for a program that has a primary care track in which most of your PGY3 year is spent in the ambulatory center, as opposed to all facets of internal medicine, then this program's not for you. Here, you will be well prepared to practice primary care medicine as your PD and one of your APDs are both primary care physicians, but all of our residents share equal time on the inpatient service, the ICU, and in the ambulatory clinics, regardless of their desired post-residency plans. We do individualize which electives and specialty clinics you experience based on your postgraduate goals. We train well-rounded, comprehensively trained internists. Second, you need to consider where you want to spend the next one to three years of your life. Is geography important? Are you intolerant of cold weather? Do you suffer from rain odds? Do you dislike heat and humidity or are bothered by hyperhidrosis? Do you have family locally? Is that a good thing? Do you value the support system of having family close by? Perhaps it's your in-laws who live down here and you prefer to leave the area. Be sure to consider location. Ultimately, choosing a residency program comes down to where you feel that you will fit in best. You should consider the overall culture and outcomes of the program. In the end, when you complete a categorical residency in internal medicine, you want to have the skills and knowledge to become an excellent internist, to pass the ABIM certifying exam, and to obtain the postgraduate position of your choice, whether that be in fellowship or out in practice. As a preliminary intern, you want to develop the excellent foundation to support your future educational goals. We will now share some of our outcomes with you. We participate in the American College of Physicians annual in-training exam. We consistently score greater than the 80th percentile of all programs across the country. We share the highest ABIM pass rate amongst all programs in the state. Our 10-year rolling average is 100%. For the most part, programs in South Florida do fairly well in passing the boards. This table shows the three-year rolling pass rates for 2020 through 2022 for the programs in South Florida. In the past 14 years, we have had 100% of our graduates take the ABIM certifying exam. And in that time, only one graduate did not pass on the first attempt. Our resident success in obtaining fellowship positions is excellent. Cleveland Clinic is a name that is recognized internationally, thus opening doors for those who train here. Clearly, you need to do the work to support your credentials, and we assist in that by having research mentors as well as providing education and elective time directed towards research beginning in the PGY1 year. The 2022 fellowship match was no exception. Our residents are currently getting advanced training at some prestigious programs, including UCLA, Texas A&M, Vanderbilt, and Cleveland Clinic, Ohio, and Florida. So what do we do to achieve such success? We truly value and prioritize education and consistency. We utilize MKSAP modules developed by the American College of Physicians for daily review sessions. We have our core curriculum conference five days a week, plus additional case-based morning report-like conferences three days a week. We utilize the Decker curriculum, introducing two high-yield topics weekly. During our academic half days in the ambulatory block, we focus on outpatient topics, the QI process, safety and high-value care, as well as simulation and POCUS training. We have a monthly population health conference to better prepare our residents to practice healthcare in the 21st century. In addition to the typical internal medicine conferences, including Journal Club, morbidity and mortality, grand rounds, we also host a five-day internal medicine board review course each spring that is attended by nearly 100 internal medicine residents throughout Florida, as well as by practicing physicians throughout the country. Highlights include daily high-yield sessions by Dr. Muniz. We require our graduating PGY3s to attend. We also try to be innovative and present evidence-based medicine in a learner-centered fashion. We are small enough that as our learners need shift, we are able to adjust. We don't feel 24 hour call places learners in a position to function at their best. So no shift is more than 16 hours. We follow an X plus Y schedule 
which is 6 plus 2. You will have scheduled non-call time on your ambulatory block in addition to during your elective time. We also pride ourselves on the personal attention to education that we are able to achieve due to our small size and dedicated faculty. We have regularly scheduled visits to our simulation center during the ambulatory block to work on clinical, technical, and communication skills. You will have the opportunity to teach medical students both in direct patient care and with didactic sessions. There is no better way of cementing one's understanding of a subject than by teaching it to others. To summarize, we are a true hybrid program, providing the diversity and severity of illness of patients at an academic medical center. The academic and research rigor is well balanced with the friendly, family-like atmosphere, personal mentoring, exceptional facilities, and supportive network of a community hospital. We could not be more proud of our exceptionally successful internal medicine residency. We truly do train superheroes.